Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Legend of Dragoon. This was a game released by Sony Entertainment in December of 1999 in Japan, and then again in the year 2000 in North America. Uh, this is a release for the PlayStation 1 or PSX, and it is a turn-based epic RPG that spanned across four discs. Now, this is a game that I really enjoyed playing in my childhood, and I recently just finished my own personal playthrough of it once again, and decided it was good enough for me to go back and record. Um, this game really has kind of died out of existence recently. It hasn't received as much attention on mediums such as YouTube, so I wanted to record for you guys a really high quality playthrough. I'm running this game via an emulator, um, so I have the settings jacked all the way up, and yes, I do own a legal copy of this game. Um, so anyways, without further ado, let's jump into a new game. Great Commander, this way. So, this is her. It is His Majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. All right, so there's the opening cinematic. Let's see what we're up against. Green Tusk Dragon, Feybrand. Chapter One, Serdian War. Hmm. Chance of war, more likely. I hope it's just a rumor. 
Ja. Who are you? Are you a mercenary of Basil? Answer! What are you doing? Are you drawing a sword against us? What, what is it? What the heck is this? It's a giant praying mantis. I gotta do something, I'll be killed. Whew, let's get out of here. Apparently that thing is supposed to be a dragon, I believe. It doesn't really look like a dragon. At least what I would think of as a dragon. What a monster. It's coming. Erg. Who are you? Shh. If you don't want to die. Thank you for saving me. What the heck was that? It's a dragon. Dragon? But it's strange. That village could have been easily destroyed without a dragon. The village? Are you talking about Celis? Then those soldiers were... There won't be anything left by now. Celis is my village! Oh my god. That man must be... No, there's no way. Seeing a bit of a Star Wars parallel in this moment. Like Luke Skywalker running back home. Oh no, my god! It's impossible. Where is everybody? All right, now we can finally move. Uh, if you hit the right bumper here, you can activate this little arrow that will show you directions that you can travel in. Uh, well, we can't go that way right now. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over this guy. Huh? You didn't get enough killing? <laughs> it may be enough if I kill you. Uh-oh. -uh. Stop. Oh, a mercenary. Isn't it a little late for you to show up? Shut up! What are you doing here? Can't you see? We're gonna occupy this area, and these worms were in our way. Occupy? Were you sent by the Imperial Army? Even if we were, it's none of your business. You're gonna die soon. All right, our first battle of the game. Now the combat in this game actually requires some skill. It is turn-based, uh, but there's some really interesting things going on here that you'll see. And more features will be unlocked as we go through. Uh, but basically with our attacks, we have these things called additions. And as we level up our additions, we unlock new additions. 
and by using them, you have to time your attacks very carefully. Let's see if it, if it gives me one. See? You have to make sure you hit it when the uh, square comes all the way in and lights up. Now, I'm going to let you guys know I'm not very good at the addition moves, and there is an item that I'll be unlocking later called the Ultimate War God, uh, which will allow me to bypass having to use them. It makes it a little bit easier on me. Um, I don't usually equip them on all my characters, um, but usually one or two of them will have it. Um, but you guys are going to see me messing up the additions quite a bit, so if you're looking for somebody who's incredibly skilled at this game, you're probably not watching the best playthrough. Um, but however, I do know a lot about the game, and I do know the boss strategies, and I can beat the game with my current skill level, so it's kind of irrelevant. But enough of that, let's kill this guy. So each time you use that, it will level up your uh, addition move. I'll show it to you guys in the menu when we get a chance. All right. Looking good. Ah! Are... are you really... Dart? Yes, it's me. Why is Celis under attack? War. Imperial Sandora attacked us. What about the truce? Yeah, suddenly, I didn't imagine they could come to such an outlying area. If only I had come back sooner. There's something you have to do, Shanna. Rescue Shanna. Only you can... What about Shanna? Hey, wait! Damn. He's gone. I like the little fist pump there. All right, we got a burnout, which is an item that we can use in combat, I believe. Well, let's go ahead and snag our first save. Sorry about that. I just went ahead and overwrote my other save. Let's continue on. Huh? Close. Hang on. Huh. That voice. Is that you, Dart? This way. It's just a light wound. I guess I was lucky. But look at this village. If only you came back earlier. Oh, nice way to guilt trip me. Nothing I could have done against that army. It's about Shanna too. What's wrong with Shanna? She was taken away. It seems Shanna was their primary purpose. Do you know where they went? I don't know. My God. I'm gonna make him talk. Investing a private is no reason to be confident. Where did you take Shanna? Shanna. Don't worry about her. She must be receiving the courtesies of Helena Prison. By now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shanna? Exactly, but don't worry. I will let you follow them, although not to Helena. To hell! Ah, <laughs> see what you did there. Alright, so our first boss fight right at the beginning of the game. 
All right, so let's go ahead and take out the goons first. With our double slash. I find darts addition moves to be the easiest in the game, realistically. Huh? Yeah, the guard just decided he was going to bail. That was too much for him. Oh, yeah. Double slash. That's awfully cheeky of you. Some of the battle animations in this game are actually really well done. I think this game was kind of he kind of ahead of its time, in my opinion. All right, let's go ahead and heal up. Make sure we keep our health up. You're done, you bastard. Oh! Double slash. All right, that was easy. All right, so we got two more healing potions and a burnout, and we went to level two. And we got a new addition, Volcano. I'm going to stick with my current one until it's fully leveled, though. Dart, you are going to go rescue Shanna, aren't you? I won't stop you, but be careful. Your journey is not yet over, is it? No. You can count on us about Celis. There should be enough people who can still move. Thank you. When I settle everything, I'll be back. With Shanna. Well, let's get to move on. And so our journey begins. Now, if I recall, we go right up over yonder. There should be an item of importance. It's around here somewhere. I know it is. It was a nightmare. The fire set by Sandora scorched the entire village to the ground. Ah, here it is. We've acquired a Stardust. Stardusts are actually pretty useful. They unlock a secret boss towards the end of the game, um, as well as the more you collect, the more awesome items you'll get from somebody that you can talk to later in the game. So let's keep going. I'm not going to be collecting every single item in the game. I don't really need to. So meanwhile, at Helena Prison. It's a really ugly looking prison. It's just like a sideways rock. So what's going on at Helena? That thing just, like, flew away. Be good in there. Poor Shanna. We'll save you. Who the heck is the girl? You can tell me. The world's future rests on her. That's it? This is enough information for you. Those of you do not grasp the value should just do what the order says. I'm not taking your orders. Only His Majesty Dole can order me. Anyway, you must remember this. If you make a scratch on her, it'll cost more than your head. This is a message from Emperor Dole. Arg! Ah! All right, so now we're out at the world map. We are south of Sergio, so let's go into the forest.
Hello, we found ourselves a merchant. I lost the squirrel. Oh well. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think? Want to buy something? Uh, sure. Let's see. I, I don't think we have any money yet, so... Oh, we have a little bit. I may actually buy a few of these um, to keep us out of combat all the time. I'll do most of my leveling off screen so you guys won't have to watch every single battle. Don't you want to know how to use the items? I can teach you that. Uh, no, I know how. All right, so these items will keep us from getting into random encounters all the time. I'm not going to use them yet, but as with most uh, epic JRPGs, the, the, the random battles can get a little out of hand. Got an item over here. Also, you can see the arrow on the top of my head. Uh, you can disable those, as I said earlier, um, but it will turn from the greenish color to a yellow and then to a red, and red means that you were in, in danger of being attacked. So I'm probably going to get into a battle here. Yep, there it is. So I'll leave the battles in for the most part um, when there's new enemies or when there's something else to do I want to show. Um, but when it's just an ordinary random encounter, I'll usually just cut them out. Because you guys don't want to have to watch every single random battle. That would get tedious. But that was easy enough. Cross. Got another item up here. Got another charm potion. All right, so a little bit of a map puzzle. Not too tricky. Whoops. Nope, not that way. This way. I think this will take us to an item. Yes, I was right. About 20 gold. Let's go around here, perhaps. Nope, not that way. I think we can cut through. Yes, we can. Another battle. What are we up against now? Troll! Ooh. All right, prepare to feel the wrath of my double slash. Yes. Yep. Double slash. Bum, 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 bum. I like the battle music in this game. Yes. Oh, yeah. Go get him. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Almost to another level. Definitely a good idea to make sure you do the random battles early in the game to get some extra experience. I have no time to deal with you. I huh. guess that's one way to deal with wild animals. It reminds me. Wait. This way, this way. Eek. Oh. Leave Shanna alone. Hang in there. I'll get you out from there. Comes a battle. Battle time. All right, let's go hit this cock. <laughs> I like that it's actually called a cock. That's great. I don't think I noticed that before. An assassin cock. No! <laughs> I'm sorry, that's too funny. An assassin cock. 
Oh my god. We have slain the assassin cock. Let's get a move on. Now when you're out at the world map, you can save the game here, so let's go ahead and snag a save. Snag and save. And moving right along. Oh man, it's another assassin cock. Prepare to meet your doom. Yes. Oh. I just smacked that cock around. <laughs> 